Hey guys, it's Ryan, one of the guys up at Lake Trails, and um, in this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make and assemble your own med kits. The first thing in assembling your med kit is just deciding what kind of box to put it in. So this one I have here, it's just like this, but um, you don't need a special case. Um, you can use essentially whatever you find. You can use an old lunchbox, or you can even just put all your stuff in like a gallon Ziploc bag. The only thing that really matters is just that you know what the uh, med kit bag looks like so you can find it if you need to and you don't have to like waste time searching around your pack trying to find where you put all your med stuff. So now that we've gone over what kind of container to put your med kit in, I'm just going to go over what I have in this med kit and then after that I'll do a breakdown of like what each thing is and what you'd use it for. So, got some rolled gauze, some band-aids, some more band-aids, four gauze pads, anti-itch cream, antibiotic cream, some antiseptic little alcohol wipes, some little sterile gloves, tweezers, some pills, adhesive tape, and a cold pack. And that's all I got. So, let's go through each of these items. Um, well, on the left here, we got some gauze pads. These are good for just like stopping bleeding. So someone say someone has like a deep cut, you just push the gauze pads on with some steady applied pressure to try and stop the bleeding. Um, after that, we got some band-aids. Those are fairly self-explanatory. Everyone's used band-aids before. It's good for like minor cuts, cuts and scrapes. Multiple sizes of band-aids is a good idea, just because you never know what kind of cut someone's going to experience, so you wouldn't want to put a small band-aid on a big cut. It's better to have some size variety. Also in here, we have some butterfly band-aids. And those are a little bit more special because as most band-aids are for like cuts and scrapes, butterfly band-aids can help to hold things together. So if you have like a deeper cut, they can be used in place of stitches for a little bit, just until you can get like the appropriate medical attention. Additionally, there's some tweezers. These are just good for if you want to like pull a um, splinter, sliver, anything like that. Also useful if you got to clean out a cut. So someone like slid on some rocks and they have a few pieces of like little rock in their cut. You can use it to pull the um, little pieces out. Also some med tape. This is useful if you want to secure the gauze pads in place. And then we have some Tylenols here. Those are good for fever relief or like pain relief. Along with Tylenol, you should also have some antihistamines and some anti-diarrheals. Antihistamines are just for like bug bites to try and like reduce itching and um, bug related pains. And the anti-diarrheal is kind of self-explanatory also, but just with those, be a little bit careful because if you take too much of them, you'll have the opposite problem of what you're just experiencing and that's not fun either. So we also have bacitracin, but this is just your antibacterial like ointment you can put on just to help um, keep the wound clean and aid in healing. Additionally, got anti-itch stuff, so these things are like mosquito bites, fly bites, useful to try and stop the itching. Um, we do have a cold pack in here. If you don't have a cold pack, you don't necessarily need to buy one. Another alternative to that is just using, if you get some like piece of clothing, soak in like lake water, stream, whatever, some sort of water, wrap it around. In most cases, that'll work fairly well as just a cold press. Uh, let's see. Got gloves here. Those aren't necessarily required, but they are helpful just because it will keep your hands clean if you're tending to someone else. Um, if you don't have gloves, you should at least have a hand sanitizer or some form of alcohol wipe just to clean out the area so it doesn't get infected. But that is all that you've got. So if you assemble these things, you'd have a nice med kit.